Hello, Chris, and today we're going to be building this Tamiya Volkswagen. I got the black painted body, and we're going to try in this video to make it look as close as that with the stickers. In case any guys or girls out there have been eyeing this particular car, I'm going to give you my honest opinion about is it fun, is it difficult, is it frustrating? So there's a look at the wheels and tires. They're slicks, nice place to glue if you had to. 12 millimeter hex, beautiful. Oh my goodness, I thought they already had the plastic film off. So what in the world is this gonna look like? So first we're gonna get the little mirrors built and it took me like 20 minutes to figure out they were part of the body right here. So let's cut them out. I guess if you cut it just right, you don't need two-sided tape. It's officially stuck. So on these, you just have to cut the stickers out perfect. This just took me seven minutes to do. Two-sided tape. Two-sided tape. I hope this works. Ooh. So you gotta be patient with this kid. That took me like eight minutes to do one. So now we gotta cut all this stuff off of the body. It comes with these pre-punched. So that is awesome. All right, so we're getting everything cut out. This is not easy. I'm gonna get me some hobby knives. Right now I'm using this razor blade. I'm just going and scoring, 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 and just snapping it. Just two or three times. So the rockers were super easy. This was not too hard. The front was the hardest. So I guess we're ready to take the protective film off. I have no idea how this is going to look. Wow. Oh my goodness. I didn't know it was going to be that freaking shiny like that. These stickers are actually intimidating to me. So I'm going to start with stickers that don't really show that much. What the heck? It's like three dimensional. What? That was a bad idea. Came out really good. Let's try a tail light. Oh man, that was difficult. <laughs> Let me get a few more stickers on it. We'll check it out. So we've been getting some stickers on there. Everything's coming out real good. And at some point you're gonna realize that not every sticker is gonna be exactly where it needs to be. Just get it close enough and forget about it. So the instructions are saying just to kind of stick a little bit and position your sticker like I'm doing right here. Damn. It's not perfect, but it's, it's fine. I'm just not worried about it. What you rather worry about is getting those little creases in your sticker. So gently go back and forth. And you can see it's on there perfect. It's a little bit like that. I don't know if you can notice it. Don't worry about stuff like that. Just stick it down and move on. If you start trying to take this stuff back off, you can screw it up. If you don't pay attention to it, it starts to just look perfect. This is not as fun as I thought it would be. It's very, very time consuming, but the reward is awesome. So we know we're gonna hook it right here and then we're gonna line that up with something parallel, even the bottom rocker if you have to. Yeah, this one's gonna be a bit tricky. It's a little angled down, but it looks fine on the car. You don't notice it. It's not that bad. That's what I was saying. Just go ahead and worry about those little creases in there. And then getting the sticker crooked a little bit. It's actually not that bad. This took me about four, maybe five hours to do. We got every sticker on there. Perfect. Oh, never mind. One, I screwed it up. I didn't take my time. It's got those little creases in it, but you don't you don't see it. The stickers, the placement, I got about 90%, 95. Little things are gonna happen, but overall, I am so impressed with these. This is my first one ever. I misjudged these molded bodies. I'm gonna start buying all of them and doing videos like this. This is not easy. If you've never done one of these, you gotta be patient. And I'm so glad I bought this pre-painted body. This is painted by a human. 
and it has shown me what I need to know to confidently start painting these Lexan shells like this. I have a Mercedes coming up. It's on the way that we're gonna be actually painting. They're a little difficult to tighten up. Looking beautiful. So the mirrors are gonna attach with O-rings and the small clips. So that is actually a little difficult to get through there. But we got the mirror on. All right, so the body is 100% done. It is ready to go. It came out beautiful. Looks just like the one on the box. The only mistake I made was one sticker. I didn't take my time. It has some little creases on it. So just take your time. Everything else came out beautiful. None of the stickers have any bumps in them. So the quality of the pre-painted body, 10 out of 10. The looks of this, beautiful 10 out of 10. Passes the test all day, all night. So what's very strange is in real life, I'm a muscle car guy. Big V8, rear wheel drive. And I hate these cars in real life. But in the RC world, I love these bodies so much I am in love with these and I hate muscle car bodies in the RC world. I don't know why I cannot stand them. So the next one we have is a Mercedes. It's an AMG. It's a gunmetal color. And that one we're going to have to paint the body and we're going to be using the right paints and everything. Video coming soon on the chassis. We're going to build it 100% and let you guys and girls know what to expect. Is it easy? Is it hard? And then once we get that done, we're going to do my first official speed run with the GPS and test how fast this car goes and what are these Tamiya's really about. So obviously these videos are for people that are just getting into these. Green light, all the way go, 10 out of 10. I approve it, I love it, I'm hooked on them. Well that's it for the video, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.